to the Virtual Groomer. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is going to be from Murphy and McNeil, and this is Nata Haler. Uh, this is a very interesting soap for a few reasons. One, this is a collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving, and two, the thing that makes this soap fairly unique in its makeup is the fact that it has bare tallow. Bare tallow, as far as I'm aware, hasn't yet been used. Yes, you can consider this as part of the arms race of all of the software companies trying to do something unique, but it is pretty unique. Um, they call it the Kodiak base. I've used Murphy McNeil soaps before, and I think that sticks out with Murphy McNeil soap. Uh, the previous base, anyway, was the fact that I felt it was very, very soft. In fact, I thought it was a bit too soft. Even now, after letting it dry out, it is still extremely soft, and personally, that's not to my liking. This base, however, is much more firm. I would say it's probably kind of of average firmness now. It's not a extremely hard soap, like a uh, hard soap. I think Holy Cow is pretty hard, for example, but this, it has some give, as you can see, but it's, it's much, much firmer. The soap in regards to scent, I'd say it's pretty masculine in its makeup. I will put the scent notes in the description, but I would say it's designed to be a masculine scent. It's, it's a masculine scent, but it's also quite green and spicy. It's very interesting. So this is gonna be our soap today, and we'll talk about it a bit more when we go into, uh, I guess, the lathering. Uh, the razor of choice today is, I'm gonna go back to the Wolfman WR1. Yes, I still have it on loan, so we're gonna shave with this. There's not a blade in it yet. I've not really decided what blade I'm gonna use but I'll tell you when I do. My brush of choice is going to be the Black Anvil Shaving. This is a silver tip knot. It's actually really nice. It's one of my favorite knots. Um, here's the coin for Black Anvil here. Um, I need to put this into soak, so we're gonna do that now. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go away. I guess I'm gonna prep my face, take off my glasses, and I'll see you for loading up or lathering rather. I'll be right back. Okay, so the brush has been loaded. The blades I decided to put in here are one of my go-tos and these are Perma Sharp Stainless. I really like this blade. Uh, this is made by Gillette, but it's made in Russia. I think it's made in the same uh, plant as my favorite blade, the Paul Silvers are. So I'm gonna be using that. Let me wet the face and we'll get to lathering. Okay, so I have about, I'd say, 27 hours of growth. It's been a while since I shaved with the Gillette Pure. And for anyone that watched that video and thought my approach was incorrect, um, all I can say really is I apologize. My intention wasn't to push uh, any serum. I was giving my opinions based on comparing the two, and I thought this, I do think the serum is better, but something I would say in addition to that video is for the price, Gillette Pure is pretty much unmatched. You're not gonna get something better than that for the price you pay. The ingredients are incredibly clean. The amount of product is incredibly generous. So if your price range is there, Stick to Gillette Pure. You're not gonna find much better than that. Okay, so as you can see, the brush is loaded here. I was actually very impressed with how the brush loaded. It sounds weird, but in their previous space, I found it was way, way too easy to load the soap in the sense that the soap, the soap itself was just generally really soft. This is a bit better, so let's see how it lathers up. Okay, so it's pretty pasty at the moment, which is kind of what I go for, as you guys might know. The scent off the tub, I would give it a mid, a five or a six. On the face, I think it remains pretty similar. So yeah, it's not too bad. I actually really enjoy this scent. It's very masculine. That is pretty much what I would say. As I said, I should um, put the scent notes in the description. So we are gonna try and build a great ladder with this today. And uh, I really like this knot. It tends to do a good job. So let's dip the tips here. Tips have been submerged. Let's uh, display the brush.
This is going to be a pretty thirsty base. I, I know it already. But pretty damn thirsty. <laughs> That is fine. I like building myself a, a good lather, so. So Rug Shaves gave this base a very high score. I can't quite remember what score he gave it, but it was in the high 90s, as seems to be the trend pretty recently. Giving a lot of new bases very high scores. I mean, it obviously means the artisans have done something right. Uh, don't quite agree with giving out 100s because if you use something better, kind of, where do you go from there? <laughs> you, you don't, you have no, you have no, you have no room to move, you know? But, uh, that obviously means these bases are very good. So I look forward to trying them. I've tried pretty much all the ones. I'm looking forward to Sierra by Holy Cow. Um, my only really gripe with Holy Cow soaps were never the bet was never the performance. The Buffalo base is incredible. It's mainly the sense. I don't think the scent strength is where they need to be. I'm gonna make a mess. I should just, you know, recite to the fact. So I wouldn't say this is gonna be a voluminous lather. It does definitely isn't seen that way. It's going to be what most lathers are nowadays, which is pretty low structure and dense. Um, not a bad thing at all. In fact, I kind of prefer that because, you know, when when it come, when structure comes, there's often the fact that your lathers will there. I'm curious, actually, how many of you are getting the uh, new Gillette razor? I said in the comments yesterday that I probably won't be, mainly just because I don't think too highly of the vintage Gillettes. They're not really my thing. And frankly, I have razors already that I don't use enough. So for me, I just don't feel it's worth it. But how many of you are getting it? It looks like they've thought about it, but my fear with this, and you can call me a skeptic as much as you like, um, for anyone that doesn't know, Matt Pasasic at Razor Emporium was flown out to the Procter & Gamble headquarters, it might have been last year or the year before, and ultimately what he gathered coming back from there is they had no idea really what to do, and to be honest you can see that with the, the heated razor they came out with, I mean who the fuck is asking for a heated razor? So he, they basically said to him, how do we approach this wet shaving thing? Like the traditional wet shaving thing, because you know, it's been a long while since they've produced anything for this. And he basically came, came away with it, came away from it with the opinion that they just don't know what they're doing. Uh, I think, well, I mean, I question how much product development's gone into making this razor, but I guess you could say for like $30, $40, it doesn't really matter. This is very uh, creamy and luxurious feeling. I mean, it's very nice, actually. I can tell you that. So I'm still just trying to paint it in here. So I'm just going to keep painting. It was actually a bit easier to hydrate than I expected. I expected a pretty difficult hydration period, mainly because of how it loaded into the brush. It was very pasty, very dry at first, but 
they seem to activate pretty quickly and with some water so I still think we could even hydrate it a tiny bit more so some people go for different things with their lather uh, you know your minds may vary and all that what I like to do is I like to go to the high high end of a hydration band and kind of see how slick a lather is. Yeah, I think we're good here, so. Very nice, okay, so let's test the lather here. Yeah, that's good for me. Nice density. Nice texture. Something that I find actually with this, it feels very light on the face. Like a, an example I can give you, the the Sago base I used by Singari. Felt pretty heavy, like you felt its density. I can tell you that this is a dense soap, but it feels very light. It's pretty unique. Okay. I think that's us with lathering. Let's uh, get shaving, shall we? Okay, so uh, Wolfman WR1 in brass with a perm sharp stainless on its first use. Let's go with the green. Wow. Very nice. Leaves plenty of residual thickness behind. Like I said in my first video with this, I'm not a huge fan of the blade fill. But it does shave well. The soap is performing as expected very, very well. I don't notice any different characteristics with the bear tallow, I have to say. But I guess what does the bear tallow add that the rest of the tallow doesn't add? For me, I can tell you at the moment it's just very slick, <laughs> which, you know, it's kind of what you want. The consistency of that mother is really nice. And I'll show you in between passes. Very nice. So, judging, uh, the, the shave I had before with this WR1, I was using the um, Excelsior base by Paris from there. It may seem like a bold statement, but I think this is slicker than the Excelsior base. Um, not considerably so, but it, it is. Even if it's marginally, I, I, I notice. Michael Friedberg. The, the, there's actually a huge amount of slickness left on my face. It's resoundingly slick. Like, really slick. I'll show you here. Very slick. I'm very impressed thus far. 
Okay, um, plenty of leather left in the brush. Less leather for our second pass. I loaded for my standard of 40 seconds. I do that mainly for a fair test. Wow. Very easy to work with. Surprisingly easy actually considering the consistency I first had in the loaded brush. It's very good. <laughs> very good. I don't know how Rudd scores things, but you know, this is def this definitely, I can see why he gave it a high 90s score. I mean, I would say Murphy McNeil's first soap base was very, very good. This is uh, noticeably better, in my opinion, in a few aspects. Let's uh, see if it can handle any more water. Yep. Yeah, it can. Wow. It's just erupted back into life. I would like to think I really hydrated it first and it can take a bit more on the second pass, which is always a good sign for me. I still have plenty in here. So I'll show you the consistency of the lather here. It's very, it's pretty low structure, but like the slickness here is very, very good. Yeah, I think we're going to stop there because I think we're good. Okay. Let's tidy up a wee bit. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Uh, luckily, I hung up, so it looked like a spam phone number to me. Okay, um, I think we're good. Let's get to uh, second passing, shall we? Still it. Wow. Very easy. Plenty of slickness. It leaves like a really fatty protective layer on your face. So I'm not saying much, I'm just I'm enjoying the shade. I hope you guys uh, are having some good shapes. If so, what's new in your den? What have you been using? Man, elephants upstairs. Who knew? Okay, let's uh, have a feel around here. Do I do this, I get my hands wet. No, I just have a feel. 
There are certain spots that I know aren't going to be really close and that's fine. I like to get kind of around here because these aren't sensitive spots. These are just spots that are awkward. I think we're good. More than happy to stop there. Okay, let's get the uh, soap from the brush here. It's gonna be a lot, I think. Just check the consistency here. I'm curious to see what this is. Yeah, wow. It's actually a really nice consistency. Very, very well hydrated, you can see. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a lovely consistency. Wow. Yeah, so um, I'm very impressed by this soap base. It's definitely a somewhat noticeable improvement. And I say somewhat because, you know, all of these things we use are so good at this point that I'm not gonna tell you you must buy this, you must try this, because frankly, you don't. <laughs> but it's very, very good. I can give you that much. I can just feel the, the slickness on my hands at the moment, it's wonderful. Okay, um, that was a great shave, as I said. Uh, let me go away, wash my face, I guess wash my gear up, and I will see you guys for the post shave. I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's a post shave time. Wow, the post shave on this is fantastic. It really is. I actually missed. I normally go against here. Don't try this at home. Okay, so let's get into our post shave here. I do have the matching splash, as you can see. Uh, I guess my only qualm with this is it's not scent forward enough for me. I can smell far too much of the alcohol, and that kind of bugs me. But uh, it has a restrictor, which I always like. So let's get a, a good amount of it on here. I think that should be enough. Yeah, I smell the alcohol. This is gonna burn a bit. Eh, not really. Nothing at all, really. Wow, okay. Not bad. So let's uh, recap the stuff we used today. My shaving soap of choice was Nata Hela by Murphy and McNeil and Black Mountain Shaving. If you were looking for this video to confirm whether you should buy it or not, and you're already thinking of buying it, yes, yes you should. This is very, very good. If you've tried their previous face, you'll notice the improvements. Fantastic. My razor of choice was the Wolfman WR1 in brass. And inside that I had a first use um, Paul Silver Super, no. Permashot stainless, very nice. My brush is one of my favorite brushes I own. I, I love wooden brushes. And this is my Black Anvil Shaving. This is made out of a 5,000 year old Irish oak. It's a really wonderful brush. And the tips on this, you can see how dense the brush is. Very, very dense, wonderful brush. And for our post today, I used the matching Nata Hala Splash. Um, the scent, is settling quite nicely in my face. Something I would say 
is out of the bottle. It smells for me a bit too alcoholic, which kind of bugs me. Um, but that quickly disperses once you've added it to your face. But yeah, apart from that, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen one of my videos before and this is the first one you've come to, consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it. That's if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then, you know, feel free to leave. It's okay. I'll live. Um, apart from that, this is your host, Jack, from the Virtual Grim Room. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Goodbye for now.